except, except, is a play about freedoms. The freedoms that we've earned in the past, freedoms that we're striving for here in the future, and, no, the freedoms that we're striving for here in the present, and freedoms that we want for our future. If we're to live and, and to exist in this diverse society, we have to learn and grow. We have to accept, no, without exemption, everybody and everything, all the wants, all the dreams, all the hopes and aspirations of so many people that are looking to us, since we live in America and we create and we live under the Constitution and we are a representative democracy, we have to understand and, and be willing to accept changes and the dreams of other people. Hi, my name is Tyree Young. I play Cyrus in the production of Accept, Accept at Faison Firehouse Theater. My character Cyrus is a free man in 1741. His spirit is present in the present day with the character Mike, who is played by C's. Uh, he gives guidance, tries to use his critical thinking skills to help her see how she has set herself up in different situations that she is now being oppressed. Uh, I love this play because it makes so many different parallels between oppression between different groups. So whether it's oppression of African Americans, oppression of gays, or both of those, both of those two ideas being present in one being, um, it really is such a unifying piece and I, that's what I love about this play is that it, it shows how everybody's issues, though they are different, we're all the same in so many different ways. So uh, that's, what, that's what I really, really love about this play. My name is C's Live from the Bronx, and I'm a poet, spoken word artist, uh, teaching artist, and an actor. And I've been casted as Mike in Accept, Accept, um, a new play that will be premiering at the Faison Firehouse Theater on um, June 21st, and it's directed by George Faison. It's an amazing play. Um, basically, my character Mike is um, a 20-year-old lesbian who feels more comfortable, um, you know, in what society would call like masculine clothing or and and has a lot of you know masculine attributes and of course a lot of people like to refer to that kind of lesbian as like a dyke or something like that and that um is what my character like has to deal with a lot she deals with harassment from family um at her job and um just in a, 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 a couple walks of life so the play begins with an actual situation where she was being chased um, by some people because she was gay or soon to be gay because you know you don't know when you meet a stranger whether or not they're gay or not but um, it, it, it talks about so many things you know like one thing I want to stress to everybody who is coming or thinking about coming to see the show is that this is not an a LGBTQ play it isn't just meant for that group and it's not just targeting those people. This is a play about freedoms. It's a play about choices and decisions and just how no matter how much negative comes at you, you can always make the positive decision for yourself and for the people around you. And, it, and it also, it's also about, it doesn't take a group of people to make a change happen. It, sometimes you can, one person, one voice, me as a poet, I've, all, I've learned all too well that my voice, me talking to someone has a power, a power, it's somewhat like, it's, it's, some, it's a little divine, you know, that that's coming from me and it's helping so many people, like words, language, so um, I'm just really honored to be a part of this play and I hope that everyone will come and see it on the 21st. <laughs>